So why the fuck do we have cigarettes and a fucking titanium rod? Okay, you open up the titanium rod, now the cigarette's getting jiggy with it on both ends. He's got two holes to pick from. What are we doing, making a tampon? We're making a fucking stick grenade? How much John Wick do you need in this bitch? Are we making a stick of dynamite? Now we're gonna go ahead and stuff in some of that cotton pick in American history. Damn, how much of it do you need inside of this damn thing? Now you've got three full cotton balls stuffed down on the inside. Go ahead and circumcise the rest of it. I can tell where this is going, so I'm assuming we're gonna go ahead and put some fluid down on the inside of it. They try to trick us, no, that's not super glue. Let's go ahead and fill that bitch to the brim. Kinda looks like water for people that wanna off themselves. Looks like a cooling rod for a reactor. Flip it over to the other side, go ahead and drop in the nuclear core. Kinda looks like we're making a mini nuke at this point. The forbidden laser pointer. Go ahead and smudge all your greasy fingerprints and fingertips all over the edges of it and screw it up. And go ahead and showcase that's the same size as the cigarette like you started the video. Oh, would you look at that? You made a fucking lighter that you can spin around. Kinda cool. But also at the same time, that flame just- This is no fucking joke. I would do the same shit. You see these giant loaves of bread coming down the conveyor belt and you'd look like you couldn't give a single fuck sleeping on the job. And you know what? If I had to do the same exact thing every single day, I would do the same shit. I would lose my mind. It's kind of a nice sneak peek into quality control though. If an AIDS needle happened to go by, you would not catch it. So we definitely need to check our shit. For undisclosed reasons, I can't tell. Are your eyes closed or sleeping? Or are they open? I just, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing. Also, why is only one person in the circumstance have a COVID mask on? Does she just think she's better than you or does she think you're nasty? It's kind of fucked up and strange. What's up with my dude's headwear in the background? You can tell she's thinking hard and heavy about a vacation she's never gonna get. And that machine's squirting faster and more steady than your mom. She's currently operating on three hours of sleep on limited pay and wishes so badly she could take a nice trip to Disneyland. I could tell by how much you have to touch these bars of soap that the palms of your hands smell fresh as fuck. India needs to get to making one of these factories pronto. Take a look. In case you didn't already know, this is where your tuna comes from. Tuna are some big ass fish that have basically got ADHD. In order for them to breathe, they have to swim. They can't stop moving. And holy fuck, this fillet of tuna looks delicious. For anybody wondering, yeah, this one fish is probably worth more than what you got in your savings account by a long shot. I believe one of these fish alone can go for about $50,000, if not more. Imagine how nervous you were when you applied for the job before they put you on cleaning the tuna duty. And you're like, man, I hope I don't fuck up this $50,000 fish. So do they make you train on, like, fucked up fish, different types of fish? Like, how do they know you're ready for the big dogs? I always thought the spikes in the back of the tuna's tail look cool as hell. For some reason, I'm willing to bet this dude's job pays pretty damn good. It takes some high skill in a market that makes a lot of money. I don't know how true this is, but there's a lot of documentaries and articles saying that we're close to having no more tuna left on Earth, that it's almost extinct because we eat too much of it. Who's we? I can't get enough of this shit. It's weird because it's almost like they have skin versus scale. <clears throat> Alright, first thing, can we turn this fucking dramatic music off? At the end of the day, you're just filling a fucking pothole. Also, for some reason, I feel like waiting till the ground is wet like this is probably the worst time to do a job like this. Now I have a real job, so I don't have to worry about fucking paving roads and filling potholes, but you gotta just listen to that gut feeling. It looks like shit. Alright, we picked my boy fresh up from Home Depot, let's see what he's capable of. Honestly, so far, I think you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. You're cleaning it, you're marking it out, I know you're gonna repave this, and it just seems like you got the process down pat. I'm glad those pegs you're bending are just rebar and not the peg. You know, I don't even know how you think of something like this. This man's taking apart a bug. At first I thought he was gonna put it in like one of those photo album type things. But no, he's gonna grab himself the world's largest, most vicious looking beetle, and he's gonna start turning it into a fucking robot. How do you have this much creativity and free time to turn a goddamn bug into a robot? I bet you this bug had no idea that it was gonna be turned into this when it died. Kind of reminds me of that Rick and Morty episode where he turned himself into a pickle. Then he went and built himself a suit out of rat guts. I mean, look at that, he's even got the mouth moving. The fact that this is just this guy's hobby tells you a little something. This guy has to have an insane job in real life. Working for the CIA, the government, Apple, something. And I'd imagine I have to be crazy careful not to fuck this thing up or break the pieces. He's even gonna make the wings work again. He's gonna grab himself his own V8 engine and get ready to stuff this inside the beetle. There's people out there that can't even change a tire on their car, but this guy is able to manufacture a V8 engine and stick it inside of a beetle's asshole. If you could legit fly this thing with a remote control and put some cameras in Listen, I don't give a fuck what you say. By now we've learned that although these videos might be cool and satisfying, they're fucking fake. Really every single thing that comes out of a third world country is fake outside of the fucking poverty. Yes, it looks like he's doing all this ingenuity with his little tiny tool and bare hands. But one thing they don't show you is when they cut the camera, they're bringing in fucking heavy machinery, tools, and tractors to do all the actual work. If building a home this nice with your bare hands was this easy, homeless people wouldn't be living under an overpass. Look how perfect this little round table is. The outside of the house could use a little facelift, and that stick is long as hell. 
kind of looks like a midget railroad tunnel. You're going to make us one of those little railroad tracks from Minecraft, aren't you? But how long does this shit actually take? And what made you start this channel? How much money and revenue does this actually drum you up? With the camo combat pants and the black hair, you're kind of giving me that Vietnam tunnel vibe. Also, you didn't build this shit into the side of a mountain, you built it into the side of a hill. One good rainstorm and this shit's fucked. But with that much extra dirt, you're going to be able to build mud huts for the village for the entire week. Fucking Mexicans, man. We need to get a plane together and send a bunch of Mexicans over to other countries like India. Because they're the only people I know that can cook in third world looking environments. But somehow it looks orderly and delicious. Don't get me wrong, some of you Mexicans out there eat some cow tongue and shit. That shit's fucking disgusting. But I think just about everyone's in agreement that Mexican food's good. And our little jumping beans look like they're about to make us some authentic barbacoa. Yeah, that's fucking lamb. Bare hands everywhere grabbing all these chunks of meat, but at least there's no dookie. And in Mexico, everything's so universal. This underground oven looks like it can be used for cooking food and killing off people that piss off the cartel. Not gonna lie though, besides the fact that you're patting it down with your bare palms, the color of the meat looks delicious. That's what she said. What's up with all the burnt fucking leaves? We have a little something we have to call tinfoil that works just as good. If not, better. Do these leaves just give it some super flavor that we don't know about? How long do you leave it down here? What's the temperature in which you cook it at? And how desperate were your people at one point to find this out as a cooking method? The contraption you're looking to cook your food looks like something you'd see Anne Frank crawl out of. And I know there's a lot of mech- Holy fuck, we got India up to the plate with another meal. I saw fresh water, India. I see a clean pan with oil, India. I see a somewhat clean workstation, India. Cracking eggs in a clean cup in a clean fashion, no fucking way. That ground down there's a little filthy, though, that's gonna attract rats. I'm gonna let that slide because I'm fucking impressed right now. Look at this, you haven't put your hands in the food one time. Holy fuck, India, a utensil. You're stirring it with a utensil. Holy fuck, God is real. Let's not get into a debate which God's real because then we'll end up like the Middle East right now. The whole workstation looks clean. I know you used your bare hands on that, but I'm gonna let this one slide. It's not that nasty, it did go directly into hot oil. I don't like the fact that you did that, but I'm not gonna count this out right now. You're on a fucking roll. You're about to put India on the map and get them out of the poo. Your shirt looks a little like poo, you, but you've got a good attitude and you're doing shit right. I don't want to hear any excuses about poverty and culture. This man is in the same environment and he's doing it nice. I don't think we need to pour the eggs on top of that, but I'm still not complaining. It's a Now here's a fucking plan. Let's go ahead and dump enough oil on this giant plate to keep American from wanting to bomb you. Why you got your head pulled back like you just had an orgasm? Why is this plate so big? What's it called? And what do you typically cook on this bad boy? If this is India, which I think it is, I'm surprised because I see a full-fledged kitchen. I'm looking at every inch from the lights in the back all the way to the front, and I don't see an inch of poop anywhere, so we're starting off strong. Except for the fact that you went ahead and barehanded whatever the fuck. That was right from the fucking start. We're gonna let that slide, and for some reason I feel like you're not supposed to put that in here yet. That oil is bubbling. You have it all the way up to the brim, which means you're risking it, man. If that shit spills over under your foot, you're fucked, and I know you have open toes on. Kinda looks like a brazer from fucking Conan Exiles. The color looks nice, the sauce is looking like it's simmering real good, but so far all you've made is a liquid. Ah, the chicken. My bad credit Americans are licking their lips right now. And honestly, I'm with you. In terms of licking my lips, my credit's fucking fantastic. But you can't be the only one that likes chicken. Let's get to chop a lop, and my boy, this don't look too bad. Your fingers look a little nasty. 